Hi campers! Welcome to Camp Misqua Virtual Camp Crafts Edition. I hope you've been enjoying Virtual Camp so far with all its fun activities and I can't wait to get into the crafts with you. In your Virtual Camp guide there is a list of all of the crafts and the different materials that will, you will need. So you can check that to make sure you have everything you need. I'm also going to tell you what you need in this video. If you have the camp in a box, some of the materials will, you need are already in your box. Uh, but anything you don't have that you need is on that list so you can prepare in advance. These videos are made with a little bit of movie magic, so things might happen faster than you're able to do them on your own. So make sure you pause the video and take breaks whenever you need. For this week's theme of Hollywood and movies, we're going to be making a film flipbook. It's a little stop motion movie. Okay, so before we get started, let's make sure you have a nice crafting space. You want lots of open space to be able to put the tools you're working with, and you also want to make sure that it's okay if it gets messy. So if you don't want your surface to get messy, you can put down a piece of plastic or a tablecloth or something that you can clear away later. To make our movie film flipbook, there's only a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a pad of sticky notes, and you're going to need some kind of pencil crayons or markers or pencils to draw with. So on our flip book, we're going to turn all the way to the last page. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture on each of these pages that's a little bit different. And then when we flip through all the pages, those different pictures are going to go together to make it look like a little movie. Now we need to make sure that we're drawing something nice and simple and we only draw little differences to make our movie flow smoothly. So I'm going to start nice and simple and just draw somebody waving. So I'm going to go down to the first page and I'm going to draw a little stick man. He's going to be waving his arm and then I'm going to flip one sticky note down on top of that and in the same spot you can kind of see it through the other sticky note I'm going to draw that man and I'm just going to move his arm a tiny bit so it's in just a little bit of a different position only move a little bit and draw the rest of him the same and then I'm going to flip my next page down and do the same thing. And then once his arm has gone all the way down in the wave, I'm going to start drawing it coming back up. Do the same thing. The body is going to stay in the same place. And just trace over where it was. And just his arm is going to move a little bit at a time. And I'm just going to keep repeating this process until I've done it a couple of times so that we'll be able to see the wave movement happen a few times and it'll be nice and clear. Now let's see what it looks like when I flip through. Can you see him waving? And you can do this with anything. It doesn't just have to be waves. You could make them walk and you just want to move their feet and their bodies a little bit at a time. Drawing what each one would look like and then move their legs a little bit, move them forward, move them forward so that they don't jump across the page, but as you flip, they move slowly across. You can draw whatever animation you want. To also make it look more like movie film, we can draw movie film edging. 
So to do that, I'm going to draw just a line along the top of my sticky notepad, a little bit down from the top, and then do little lines going from that line upwards. So that it looks like the edge of a film roll. And I'm going to do the same thing along the bottom of all of the sheets that I put a drawing on. A line going across a little bit up from the bottom and then little lines coming down from each of these spots. And I make them nice and thick. Then I flip that next page down and I do the same thing. And I'm using the fact that I can kind of see through my sticky note where my other lines were to draw on top of those spaces so it's always in the same spot. So now when I flip it, it looks like this. <laughs> 